गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम भावना शर्मा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर फाइव सेपरेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस सो देर आर मैनी इंस्टेंसेस वे आर बी नोटिस अ सब्सटेंस बीइंग सेपरेटेड फॉर अ मिक्सचर ऑफ मटेरियल्स एग्जांपल टी लीव्स आर सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द लिक्विड विद अ स्टेनर while preparing tea as we see in our daily lives many substances and mixtures can be separated using various methods of separating substances so in this video we will discuss about some of those methods first one is hand picking hand picking is the simplest method of separation of substances this method is used only when unwanted material is in small quantity moreover shape size or color of the unwanted material is different from that of useful material for example pebbles broken grains and insects are separated from rice wheat and pulses by hand picking you can see your mother separating unwanted materials from the grains of rice or pulses when she is cooking food this process is called hand picking the second one is threshing threshing is used for separating seeds from the harvested stalks when stalks are harvested and we have to obtain grain from the stalks we use this method there are three types by which we can go through threshing first one is manual threshing when the quantity is small threshing is done manually small bundles of the harvested stalks are threshed on a hard surface this helps in separating the grains by hands manually the bundle of stalks are beaten on the hard surfaces to obtain the grains second one is threshing by animals for large quantities threshing is done in the traditional way by using animals for this stalks are separated around a pole several bullocks are tied to pole and are made to walk over the harvested stalk trampling by hooves of the animals help in separating grains so in the second method animals are used for separating grains from the stalk they tied with the pole and they are moving on the stalks due to their hooves the grains are separated from the stalks in the third method threshing machines nowadays threshing machines are used for the purpose it can be powered by either a diesel engine or an electric motor it helps in saving time and labor so these are the three methods for doing threshing in this picture you are able to see manually threshing is done with the bundle of stalks i hope these two methods of separation are clear to all of you thank you